Ladies and gentlemen, we have two major leaks to go over today, and in my opinion, they are very insightful, and they even might be an actual look into the technology that's going into the Switch 2. And guess what? These leaks are coming directly from Nintendo themselves. So let's go and get right into it. Guys, I got off an airplane like two hours ago, and I woke up at 5 a.m. in New York City to come home. And I have this problem where if I have to get up early the next morning to do anything, I just won't sleep the night before. Instead of going to bed early, I just won't go to bed at all. But all things considered, I think I'm looking pretty good. <laughs> I feel like that uh, tired SpongeBob meme right now. Um, but it is what it is, right? The news doesn't stop, so the videos don't either. I have two leaks today coming directly from Nintendo themselves, directly from the patent office, and um, they're pretty crazy. So before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. And let's go and get right into this video. So I'm recording this on March 5th, and both of these patents came out on March 5th. Whoa, that is five days before Mario Day. Maybe things are starting to heat up. As you can see, applicant information name, Nintendo, and this first one has to do with a new kind of audio technology. A 3D sound spatalizer provides delay compensated RHTF interpolation techniques. And guess what? We're not reading the rest of this. Let's just get into the actual description. The crazy thing is when you look at patents, it's like a lot of like weird words and concepts and different kind of things to make it sound more official and businessy and uh, even more on like the um, technology point. The way that they're describing this is almost like a beautiful story. Even though we only have two ears, we humans are able to detect with remarkable precision the 3D position of sources of sound we hear. Sitting on the back porch on a summer night, they are really painting a picture here. We can hear cricket sounds from the left, frog sounds from the right, the sound of children playing behind us, and distant thunder from far away in the sky beyond the horizon. This is beautiful. I feel very touched and emotional by this description. What are we even talking about anymore? In a concert hall, we can close our eyes and hear the violins are on the left, the cellos and double basses are on the right, with the basses behind the cellos, the winds, I don't want to read this anymore, it's too beautiful. Actually, we have to read a little bit more, it's getting crazy. Some think we developed such sound localization abilities because it was important to our survival. Perceiving a saber-toothed tiger rustling in the grass to our right some distance away, but coming toward us allowed us to defend ourselves from the attack. Nintendo's putting this picture in my head of me being attacked by a saber-toothed tiger, but don't worry, they've got a new technology and we're gonna be okay, guys. So when we look at actual pictures, we can see this is a person and then a sound is coming from over here, so you'll be able to hear that with your left ear, but you would also be able to hear that from your right ear, so it, it, I don't really understand everything that's going into it, but I do know it's a new sound technology that they are patenting, and would this be for the Switch or the Switch OLED or Switch Lite? I'm not seeing it. I think they're really going out all stops for this next Nintendo console. It's definitely getting pretty wacky here, but yeah, it's uh, it's interesting nonetheless, right? But we have other senses. You know this and I know this. Sound, yeah, that's cool, but what about actually seeing things? Well, from what I'm getting from this next patent, maybe it has something to do with an OLED. And they wouldn't be making new technology for an OLED for the current Switch OLED. Maybe the Switch 2 will have an OLED model? The technology described here in relates to processing or post-processing images that are to be displayed on a display screen. The technology described here in relates to techniques for addressing or counteracting screen burn-in, image persistence, or image retention that can occur when displaying images on display screens. So if you know anything about screens, we have a couple different kinds of screens. We have HD, we have LCD, we have OLED, we have some other stuff I'm sure I'm not even aware of. but. If you have an OLED TV, or maybe even an OLED phone, um, if you've ever paused a television and then even went away for like an hour and then came back and unpaused it, whatever you had paused on the screen, that image will kind of be burned into whatever you're watching. Like, it will be burned into the TV. So say uh, somebody was about to eat some spaghetti, you paused it, and then you unpaused it, that guy will be holding a fork of spaghetti for like a couple hours until it fades in. I am very tired. Um, I'm not going to try to explain how this works because I'm sure I would just make a fool of myself even more than I normally do. On the Switch OLED, we thought this is going to be a problem um, because that's just an issue with OLED screens. Bob Wolf from Wolf Den has had a Nintendo Switch OLED on for I think two years now, maybe three years. 
and it's actually kind of a wacky experiment, but he's had it on for three years, and I think it's barely suffered any screen burning. So if they were making a new technology to counteract this or try to eliminate that, well, why would they be doing that for the current Switch OLED where that's not an issue? So they have a couple pictures here, and another reason that I think this is going to be the next Nintendo console, normally when you look at Switch patents for maybe Switch games or Switch technology, uh, they won't show the Joy-Cons, sometimes they do, but often they just show the, um, the OG Switch. Not the Switch OLED, but they show the OG Switch, like the screen, like you can clearly see it's a Switch screen. In this one, they're just using a rectangle shape. Um, we've got this dinosaur and this cute little creature right here. I would love to know who drew these because these are uh, amazing. And you can see, like, the dinosaur is here, and then maybe it was getting burned into the screen. And then it would fade over time. So it was solid, then it faded, and now it's almost gone. So for example, here's another patent. And when they're showing stuff to do with the Switch, they show the Switch. So I think it's very interesting for that OLED technology that they're working on that they didn't show off the Switch because it would just be super easy. Um, it would be easy to even, I guess, put a display of a Switch OLED. So I just think it's very interesting with this 3D audio technology and OLED screen burning counter measurements, I guess, um, that they're not showing a Switch. Uh, and I think they are really working on like every kind of aspect and every way to approach this next Nintendo console. Could all this be for something else? Well, of course it could. But in my opinion, I think it has to do for the next Nintendo console, or at least, um, or at least aspects going into that next Nintendo console. But anyway, I just got back from New York City. As you can see right there, I have a huge Nintendo bag. I went video game hunting the entire week I was in New York City. So tonight on live stream, I'm gonna do like a, a recap of the whole trip and show my pickup. So it'll be a lot of fun. Come and hang out. I also got this really cool Nintendo hoodie, so I'm basically a Nintendo employee now, you know what I'm saying? Um, down below, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you could. We are growing on both platforms, and that's very cool. And you lovely humans know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.